He rolls through turns three and four and will win for the 26th time in the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour. Ryan Priest wins at Martinsville. This is uh, my father's modified that I'll be driving at Martinsville Speedway next Thursday. So a very special Thursday night, talking wheel and modifieds. Your 26 win in the series, but this one had a lot more special, a lot more special meaning to it. Give us some backstory on kind of what went into making that making that possible. Really, it was everybody: uh, Chad Johnson, my crew chief, uh, my entire 41 team. My father, my wife, everybody was just, you know, hey, why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing it? And it was it, it was on a Thursday. Really, the deciding factor was when I looked at the schedule, it being on a Thursday, there was no conflicts. I had to drive the motorhome up here anyways, and so it just was pretty convenient. Just putting new rotors on, uh, it being Martinsville, she was pretty heavy, hard on brakes. So, you know, to be honest with you, uh, some, some of the different work that we did to it was done with fabricators within our hometown so it was just um it's been a lot of fun working with my father and and really some of the things life lessons that he's taught me uh to you know work hard and and never quit and figure it out no matter what so i think it's shown all the way up to this level When you have a chance to go to a short track with Ryan Priest, uh, it didn't take a lot of convincing for all of us to get on board. Yeah, it was a cool experience for me because that was my first experience with the Modifieds in any form capacity whatsoever. So, Was that more of a learning experience? Like, cause I'm sure you had to go off of what Ryan was saying to learn what, what he wants in that type of car. Yeah, so I actually do Ryan's tires on the cup side, and the tires on the Modified side are a completely different world. So I, I've relied on Ryan a lot for what his experience is and how he wants it set up. Well, basically we came in the shop and they said, hey, we're going to do five wide modified pit stops. <laughs> um, first time doing anything, you're going to be a little nervous, but I think it was more of like excitement nerves, you know what I mean? Not so much like nervous of messing up. Obviously, we didn't want to mess up for Ryan, but seeing how fast he was, I was like, man, it doesn't really matter how well we do, you know? Yeah, definitely the excitement of being able to do something completely different um, and have a good time with everybody, learning something new. I think that was the biggest thing. I don't think any nerves were really in there. I think all of us wanted to do the very best we could for Ryan, growing up in short track racing, finally making it here, and having the ability to take a break from all the stresses of trying to run for this championship and, and go out there and have fun. Emmerling misses turn one and that opens up the door to the bottom as Priest comes back in. On the back straightaway, Priest runs to the inside lane. Score the lap for Ryan Priest with 60 laps to go. He's back out in front of the modified race here at Martinsville. Doing something like this, I mean, this is about as grassroots as it can get. I mean, how, how did that really how gratifying was it to put all that work in and then you go out and almost spank the field? Well, any real racer that, that has a hands-on feel with, with what they're doing or they have their own team or whatever, um, they know that sense of feeling that you get after you build it, you set it up, you go to the racetrack, you get through the whole process and you, and you win. That's something you can't buy. That's something you can't, you can't have. It's, it's just a completely different feeling of success and gratification so I, I remember the first time I went to a racetrack without my my father and, and was doing it on my own um, and I got that win and I remember him telling me he was proud of me and then not only him being proud of me but I was proud of myself like a lot of work that goes into this stuff and and you know a lot of people don't don't see the behind the scenes things that it takes to to have fast race cars yeah, I hold a steering wheel. Yeah, we hold steering wheels as drivers, but it takes it takes a team behind you. It takes fast race cars, and you know it takes everything. That's why going into Martinsville, I I got a pit crew, so I didn't have to lose a lap or anything like that, or lose spots, and we could show how fast of a driver, fast of a car I had. I believe you said that was the best race car you've ever driven. Why? What what made it the best? It just drove. It was just fast. It drove really well. It did. It was very responsive to when I wanted to cut under somebody or, or make it turn. I didn't have to mash the brake pedal. I didn't have to really manipulate it or throttle steer it off a corner. I could let it do its thing. And, and those, uh, those race cars don't come often. 
I appreciate every win just because I know the effort and and everything that goes into it. It's not like I'm just kind of buying myself a ride and, and getting in the best car and, and going in and winning, you know, like I feel like I'm capable of. I'm, you know, I did a, pretty much everything on it, and um, that gives you that satisfaction. So, um, yeah, I guess anybody who complains about a cup driver coming in, I guess they got to complain about me working on it too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.